everyone and welcome to another episode of Maxi Motorsports Garage. <clears throat> what we have here today is a 2011 Audi S5. This is the B8 model. Uh, I know it's got the updated uh, bumper and headlights, but this is just a, a retrofit that the customer uh, performed. So this is an 11 and not a 2013 or 14 or whatever. Now, uh, I just want to point out that this is not a do-it-yourself type of video, more of a, an informational type of video. So basically, I just wanted to shoot a video and let um, uh, people know uh, what happens when your both your drive belt and supercharger belt uh, gets shredded in pieces and uh, you know most commonly people it's either you have a belt that's so dried up that you never change in a million years um, but that's rarely the case or most of the time it will be belt tensioners that 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 go wrong and pretty much the belts uh, could come off or whatever the story is but in this case um, what I noticed as soon as he brought in the car is that uh, the crankshaft pulley was not lining up with the tensioner it was off so obviously the belt just popped up but just by um, looking at it i'm like oh boy there's something either the, the pulley like moved back or something and of course um, i recalled doing um, another similar problem a few years back so it came back to me and of course i just uh grabbed the pulley with my hands and basically I was able to move it back and forth so this is what happens is that the pulley comes apart as you can see here uh, there's like a rubber I'm not sure if it's rubber or it must be super hard rubber or something like that but uh, basically this is what it's like I mean of course it's inside and this comes apart and what happens is when it breaks um, the actual pulley that holds the belts uh, moves back and forth and of course the belts just get shredded and they come off so uh, obviously at the same time once you do that you want to change your uh, supercharger uh, belt tensioner and the drive belt uh, belt tensioner as well uh, that's just a uh, common sense to do so unless you know the car's fairly new or something but uh bottom line usually when you do that you replace everything so uh this is not uh, an easy job to be honest i was able to do it without putting the bumper or removing the bumper putting this car in service position however i could imagine this job is probably a four to six hour job easily uh, however after doing a few of these and working on a lot of s5s um, i was able to do it without putting it and without removing the bumper and stuff and radiators and all that kind of stuff uh, at least putting it in service position like there's a way to push out everything uh, but again i was able to do it that way that's um, of course sacrificing my knuckles and scratches everywhere of course but yeah uh, it's all done by the top and bottom so uh pretty much remove the uh, supercharger belt remove the uh, drive belt as well and uh, basically going underneath and uh, reaching out there's very little space as you can see here however it's possible to remove the crank pulley with a triple square m10 socket there's eight bolts that hold it in place and once you remove those eight bolts um, you're able to pull it out but again that's not without wiggling a bunch of stuff and finding your way uh, finding your way out you know it's not that easy to be honest but uh, bottom line, it could be done. And uh, yeah, so that's it, boys. I just wanted to uh, educate some of you who own these cars. Uh, if you ever get an issue with your drive belts, uh, chances are it could possibly be the harmonic balancer or the crankshaft pulley. So, boys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you appreciated the video. Thank you so much.